Hey guys, Shane here, Review Deck 3D Printing. It's time to do a vlog, let's catch up on some stuff. Hey guys, welcome back. So, it's that time again. We got some stuff in the mail. First off, it's the Loot Crate came in. So, we got Sport My New Shirt. Uh, it's kind of Walking Dead type nightmare, I think, is the theme or villain or something like that. But hey, this is pretty cool. I like it. Got something else in the mail. This is Royal Mail. This is from, obviously, somewhere in the UK. And it did come with a little note. I ordered this quite a while ago. And I knew it would take a while to get here because it's coming from the UK. So I dropped it. So right here on the top, it's from F3D. How to make things better. Apologies for the delayed delivery. So apparently, they must have had some kind of issue and they weren't able to ship it out right away. So I've got me some print bite. This is a 300 by 300 sheet of print bite. So a lot of guys are talking about this. I think Joe Mike Tarula, maybe, he talks about print bite and how nice it is. So I figured, you know what? I have several other printing services here that I, I want to compare eventually. I'm just printing on each of them to try and learn how, how they are, how they behave. But that was probably really annoying to listen to. Um, but here's the print bite. Pretty cool. Little, all kind of graphed out. It does have a sticky back. So this is going to go on one of the 12x12 mirror tiles that I bought for the FT5. And I bought those mirror tiles, again, especially for putting all of these different surfaces on because the mirror and a time lapse doesn't work out so well. I did do a picture, I'm sure you saw, in one of my last videos, and that was of the Playhouse connector that I made. I was printing on the mirror tile to kind of test it out, but you can see it's really not very good for camera. So this print bite is going to be pretty sweet, very super smooth feeling, but it's supposed to be fantastic to print with. And, and I can't wait to try it out. Uh, here they give you all kinds of information about it and what it can do. So we'll try that out. So it was just Halloween. Printed a bunch of stuff. Sadly, I don't have much of it left or any of it left really. So I printed out probably about 40 of the little uh, pumpkins, little pumpkins. And I'll put a link up here for that so you guys can go check it out. I'll put a link down in the description as well. It was a great fun print. There's nine different pumpkins in the set and they all have crazy faces. So out of the so of little ones, I printed about 40. I also printed two great big ones, and my daughter helped me out with those. So I'm trying to get her into 3D printing, and we used the Cube 3 3D printer, and she helped me model, uh, you know, import it in, and we expanded it to 400%, which filled up the build plate on the Cube 3, and they came out great. I put two of them, and I stacked them together. We had a little pumpkin competition at work, and everybody got a kick out of it, and they all yelled at me because I tried to bribe them with the little pumpkins, but. It was good fun, and uh, I enjoyed printing those, but those actually are with the event coordinators right now, so I don't have access to them, but next week I should have them. I'll show those off, and I'm going to do a little uh, did a time lapse of the print. So I, I tried it out on the Cube 3. It doesn't really work out too terribly well because of the, the light that's on it. I might have to. Right now it's, it's down here, as you can see, under my desk. I would probably have to bring that up on the desk and use external lighting, you know, just my room lighting, and then do the time lapse from there and see how it would go. But because it's enclosed, it's just weird to try and film it. But the lights were on, so we'll do, I'm probably just do just a time lapse of that, but I want to have it back so I can film a little more for the video and not just have a time lapse. Kind of want to talk about it and show it off, whatnot. But the same maker, I hit him up probably about two or three weeks ago, and I said, hey man, your little pumpkins are fantastic. Can you do a skull in the same you know manner that you did the pumpkins? And he said, you know what, sure. And he did. So I printed out a big one. This is his skulls, and this is just the uh, normal printable one. Um, I just scaled it up to I believe this one is 500% because 600% would have been too long. And I actually wanted this one for Halloween for my we did trunk or treating at work. And I wanted it for my car, but it didn't finish in time. So sadly, I couldn't enjoy it this year, but I will definitely enjoy it next year. You can see how big it is compared to my head. You know, 500%. It's pretty big. So this is printed on my FT5, and it prints just like this. And no support needed whatsoever. There is hardly any artifacting or anything on the printer. A few, there's like 
a tiny spot. You can tell it started a string here, but it kept it up well. Same down here, you know, in the back of the, uh, the nose here, a wee little bit, it started to string there. But other than that, the rest of the print is completely flawless. I love the way it looks. So this is using, uh, who is this? This is Prospec White PLA. And I did have an issue with the, the white. So a lot of people have said they've had issues with theirs, but I generally haven't. This is the first time I ran into an issue with their filament. I was a, trying to print at FT5 speed, which is 5,000 millimeters per minute. That ended up being a little bit too fast because I could not melt the filament fast enough to extrude it out. And I usually print PLA at about 205 degrees centigrade. And it was kept, you know, jamming on me. I was like, what the heck is wrong with this? So I upped the, uh, the temperature to 210 and then 220. I still had the same issue. I was like, okay, well, we're going to have to slow the sucker down. So I slowed it down to 4,000 millimeters per minute and it printed without problem. So this was actually the fourth try I had on this because I was trying all these different settings to figure out what the issue was. At first, I thought it was just, I don't know, a mishap in the filament, but I just had to slow it down a little bit and keep the temperature up. So I printed this at 215 degrees. Yeah, it was 215 degrees centigrade at 4,000 millimeters per minute. So do the math, whatever that is. And, um, but it came out great. I really enjoyed this. And so this will be for next year's Halloween props. All right, so let's move on. So a video I put out uh, was the part one of the build of the Triangle Labs DeForce Mini. So you see it's not behind me here. Ran into some issues there. So I believe the board is bad. I was able to get the X axis moving using Marlin. So I dished up my own version of Marlin and I was able to finally get the X drive working. Then I went back to Rep Repier, Repetier, or whatever you want to call it, and changed a couple things in there, got the X to move. Could not get the Y or Z motors to move at all. So I took the X motor, put it on the other axes, and it would home. So, and I put the other motors, I'm sorry, I put the other motors on the X axis and they all could home. So the, that connector on the board, was everything was going correctly. None of the other accesses were working. I also got the extruder to work, so that worked. So two things worked on that, but nothing else would. So I was like, okay, I tried a couple other things, talked to a bunch of people on Facebook, no one could figure it out. So you know, I was like, hit them up, say, hey, you know what guys, I think this is a bad board. They need to send me another one. So they said they would. It's gonna be two or three weeks before I get it. So we have now shelved the DeForce Mini. Part two of the build is coming out soon. I'm working on editing it now. That should be out in probably a week or so. And so that'll be a supplement until I get the rest of the parts in and we can work on that again. So that one's gonna be shelved for now. Another issue I had is that you'll notice that there's about a minute of the video that doesn't have any audio. And I was a little upset with that, but it was so be it. I had already moved way past it by the time I noticed. And it is what it is. So this is my road mic and this hooks on here. It has its own stabilizers. Um, so once you turn this on, on the back, that LED should be green. It's red because the battery's low now. This uses a nine volt battery, which is horrible, especially trying to get them here. I mean, nine volts, no one uses nine volts except in uh, the smoke detectors. That's about it. And the carbon monoxide texture, detector, there we go. So on my, I have my tablet down here. I can see the, as I talk, the little graph goes up and down. I guess I didn't notice because I don't really look at that when I'm doing the video. I'm looking here at the camera with you guys. I didn't notice that that wasn't moving, so I missed out that part. So I apologize for that. I'm gonna try and make sure I pay a little more attention to the battery life on this. It generally is pretty good, but every now and then it cuts out and I don't notice it until it's too late. So, but I don't use this all very often. I use this with the build simply because I can't have the condenser mic right here as I'm trying to do things. It's just in the way. So, but uh, this kind of just gives you a little look on what I do also. So these are just some of my wife's hair ties that I put in here. And this is for, if I ever use the, uh, the Zoom H1, I'll put that in here. And uh, it just acts as a kind of a filter between the microphone and the, com and the camera. It gives a little bit better audio, but I haven't been using it lately. I need to experiment a little more with that. So for what was going on, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm gonna be recording here uh, today and tomorrow. I'm gonna be working on the, I have the Form Futra HD glass filament I have to do. I have the maker box here, everything's printed out. I just have to do the final recording for that. So I'm gonna work on that, and then I'm gonna move on to some more filaments. 
to test out. I'm going to be doing some more big prints on the FT5. I mean, the, the skull here was my latest big print, and uh, I wanted to do this a lot bigger, but again, I also didn't have the filament because the white spool was not brand new. And if I really, really, you know, magnify this, blow the sucker up, it's like 250 meters are needed. So I didn't have, I know I didn't have enough on there and I didn't want to pull another Millennium Falcon fail and have that, you know, blow up in my face. So I'm going to, once I get some more white filament here in the future, if someone sends me some, hint, hint, or if I decide to pick some more up, I'll do, you know, much, much bigger prints with this. But I have the Squirtle coming up I want to do here in the next few weeks. And a few other things I want to retry the Millennium Falcon, to be honest. Uh, I want a big, complete Millennium Falcon, and we're going to get there pretty soon, I hope. That's really it here, guys. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoy these, these segments. I, I do set aside, you know, this is, I mean, it's Tuesday night now. By the time I get this out, it's going to be Wednesday. And I, I really, I set aside time every week to make sure that I do this as a weekly thing. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, if you do, please let me know. If you don't, let me know as well. I mean, if you really don't care about what things I get in from companies or the stuff I buy myself, which is most of the stuff, uh, or what is going on, you know, behind the scenes or what I have working on, you know, let me know. I would really appreciate hearing from you down in the comments. And yeah, so I think these are fun and I wish other YouTubers would do this more often. I know Joel does them every now and then, uh, but I, I feeling from him, I mean, he, the guy is just so smart and he's so in tune with the 3D printing community. To hear from him more would be great. So, you know what, maybe we'll just challenge it. You know what, Joel, if you ever watch this, if you even watch my channel, which you probably don't, uh, I'd like to see more vlogs from you. It would be, I would greatly benefit from them. I know Angus does them pretty much weekly. I think every Sunday he does them. And I would love to see it from you, um, being as a dad of three as well. Um, I, I understand how hard it is to do these kind of things, and we both do this at night. But uh, I would love to hear some more from you. So if you're watching this, I challenge you. Let's talk about one more thing here, guys, and this is a huge thing. 300 subscribers. Actually, I'm like 306 or something like that now. I think it's, it's gone even more. I'm getting like five subscribers a day almost. It's fantastic. I'm getting like two to 300 views per day. We're now over 12,000 views of my videos, which is mind-blowing. I've taken enough from you guys. It's time for me to give back to you. So I have here a roll of Pet G Plus from Philibot. Sticker here as well. This is a 750 gram roll of their clear Pet G Plus. I'm giving this away. So thank you guys for everyone who's watching. You know, for those of you on Patreon, I appreciate it. You know, just everything you guys do, the comments, it really keeps me engaged. I'm happy that you guys are engaging with my content as well. So I'm going to start a Gleam competition. I've never used Gleam before, so please bear with me on this. I'm gonna set up the Gleam competition right now, so by the time that this video pops out, the Gleam should be live, should be, I hope it is, and it's going to run for seven days. So you have to subscribe to my channel, you can like my, like my Facebook page, and you have to watch a video too if you want to get some bonus entries. But you have to be a subscriber in order to, to be eligible for this competition. I will ship this anywhere in the United States. I'm sorry to you guys overseas, I just don't have the ability to ship overseas from here. So I apologize. So as long as you guys are in the United States, you're eligible for this competition. So one last time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I appreciate everything you do for me. As again, you know, the comments, the likes, the dislikes, and hey, for you guys disliking, let me know why you don't like it. I, I mean, I want to build a channel that it kind of everyone can relate to, or it is meaningful information. If I start ranting on, kind of like this. Let me know, please, if you're, if you're disliking the videos, you're the ones I really want to hear from because you're not satisfied with the content that I'm putting out and I'm trying to put this out for everyone to enjoy. So please, please, if you hit the dislike button, you really need to comment down below, let me know why. Everyone else, thank you for liking. And if you like this video, give it a like. If you didn't, dislike it and comment below. You must tell me why. You can't dislike and not comment. If you want to support my channel, I have affiliate links down below. Amazon, everyone has Christmas coming up if you celebrate Christmas, where you are. Update your bookmark, send it to your family and friends, and do some shopping with it. It goes directly to support the channel. There's also a Maker's Geek down there if you're buying some filament for someone. Use the link down there, purchase some filament. I have Patreon. If you guys want to send me a dollar or more, I appreciate it. It all goes to helping the channel build the content and lets me have some fun, I guess. It, you know, This is really, really fun for me. I enjoy it thoroughly. I hope you enjoy it too. And as always, until next time, happy printing.